Welcome back to part two of Derry County Matters this week. We've traveled to a local landmark here, City of Derry Airport, where we're going to be chatting to Charlene and the rest of our team about the work that they do here. Let's go. So Charlene, what is it about City of Derry Airport that makes it such a valuable asset to the local area? City of Derry Airport provides a vital air access link for the local community and performs a pivotal role in the economics of the region. We're also ideally placed here at City of Derry Airport that we not only are able to serve the people within our local catchment in the City of Derry and London Derry, but also the people within County Donegal and County Sligo, as well as our wider northwest region, such as the Causeway Coast and Glens and Tyrone and Antrim. And why should people fly with City of Derry Airport over another airport? Um, well, City of Derry Airport has undergone a major transformation programme in recent years, uh, which has included the extension of our central search area and our pre-board area, so in order to speed up passenger processing. So we're offering the customer convenience, that's our unique selling point here at City of Derry Airport, so um, you're able to get a car to plane transfer in less than five minutes. So even we noticed ourselves that it is actually very convenient here as a regional airport. We were able to get parked right outside. and Yeah, well that's one of the advantages of using City Dairy Airport is that you can park on site here. And our parking is very competitively priced. It starts from £2 per day after the first day. And customers are advised to pre-book online for the most competitive rates. And they can enjoy not just the convenience of parking right outside the main terminal entrance, but also the security because the airport is accredited to the Park Mark Safety Standard which means that it's a safe and secure um, parking facility. So as you mentioned about the car parking, that's one facility, but you seem to have lots of other facilities here in City Dairy Airport. Yes, we have excellent facilities here at City Dairy Airport and we would encourage everyone within our local area to take advantage of the facilities available on their doorstep and to fly local and choose City Dairy Airport. Some of the facilities we have on offer will be our catering uh, facilities here at the airport where Mount Charles have invested in the refurbishment of um, the restaurant so they're providing some fine dining and a lovely relaxed environment. We also have WH Smith located within the departure lounge and an airport shop for all those last minute travel essentials. And the airport also provides free Wi-Fi for our customers so anyone traveling through the airport can keep in touch with friends and family um, as they pass through. So we would advise again passengers to arrive early and take advantage of the facilities on offer here at City Dairy Airport. So we're joined now by Laura Slevin of City of Derry Airport. Laura, could you please tell us about your roles here within the airport? Yes, I'm a terminal services officer. Um, I have a variety of roles from customer services desk to check-in. Um, I also dispatch aircrafts as well, and I'm also a corporate aviation coordinator. So you definitely have a wide variety of roles here within the, the airport, but what is it about your job that you actually enjoy? Every day is different. We get to meet the passengers and because the airport is so small we are actually, we know the passengers on a personal level. So you're definitely the friendly face for the public here at City of Derry Airport, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Everybody is our friend. So Clive, could you tell us a bit about the history of the airport? Yes, yeah, certainly Rory. Uh, the airfield itself was founded back in the Second World War and it was a maritime airfield. But shortly after um, the war it became sort of used for general flying and then the airfield, the airport as such, was opened in the 1970s and there's been an airport here ever since. Originally the terminal was a very small building out in the airfield but in the 90s the then council decided to invest uh, about four or five million pounds increase in the terminal we're now sitting in today. So uh, many, many years ago, of course, it definitely had a massive benefit to Derry, but what is the, the main benefit of having a regional airport here now? Well, we think not just in Derry, but across the UK, regional airports have a vital role in providing connectivity um, from the regions into central London or to other parts, other regions in the UK. Absolutely vital, and in Northern Ireland particularly, where there's not land, there's no easy surface transport links elsewhere in the UK. Is there anything that you would like to say before we finish the interview to anyone at home? Yes, we really want everybody to fly local, choose Coda, and welcome new passengers and new customers to our airport. 
So Linda, you're the Sales and Market Manager at the City Hotel. Could you tell us a bit about how the City of Derry Airport links up with yourselves in forms of tourism? Um, yes, well there's a, a few different um, areas we work with the airport. Firstly, the corporate guests that we would have coming into the City Hotel would use the airport maybe coming from the UK or Europe. And then we also would have a lot of events and conferences that are happening in the city and those guests would be staying with us as well in the city hotel so we would find they prefer to use the local airports so that might be a case of flying into one of the other uk airports and then actually coming from there over over to derry so um we work very closely with the, the airport in marketing as well and in terms of tourism and the tourists actually coming to derry via this airport how much of an asset do you think it is to derry and its local area for that reason well definitely i mean it's a benefit to have an airport on your doorstep um, whenever we're going out to actually sell the destination to try and attract tourism here um, it's, it's obviously a, a great benefit to turn around and say that we have local flights coming to City of Derry Airport. So many thanks there to all at City of Derry Airport. Uh, we're going to go now over to San Dino's, our music venue for this week. Where we'll be chatting and getting a song from Derry artist Paul Casey. So Paul, you're obviously very well known and respected around here in the Derry music industry, but tell the people at home exactly just a, a little bit about yourself. Well, just singer-songwriter from the town here. I mean, I got, I've, I've been playing music since I was no age, really, and really just love writing my own songs and performing and, and recording, and I've ended up basically you know having to do it out of necessity because it just got very expensive over the years to use bigger studios so i, I i've been in and out of studios all my days so i have a i record at home now i have a home studio and i do all my albums there and i, I work with a good pool of people and we you know we always just kind of enjoy the process more than we ever did now because you know it's good fun and i just make albums and put them out there and see what happens really and the song you're going to sing for us today, is that a, one of your own or is it going to be a cover? Yeah, one of my own. It's a song from the last album. It's called uh, You Are. And what's the sort of method behind it? What's the history behind the song? Uh, I, I never know. Are we allowed to know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just write songs and I mean, sometimes they're about, sometimes what people hear is, is totally different to what the song's about. And I enjoy that, you know, I always, always quote the thing, you know, Sting wrote the song, Every Breath You Take, and everybody thinks it's a beautiful love song, but it's kind of about this guy stalking a girl, like, so. <laughs> and I love that about songs where people can get, you know, totally different meanings or a meaning of their own from it. Well, what we're gonna let you do is we're gonna let you play us out here on the show this week. Uh, massive thanks to everyone that's watched the show this week, Derry County Matters, and uh, we'll see you all next week for another brilliant show. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with a very capable hands of the Mr. Paul Casey. You are the rain that falls on me You are the wind that sets me free When leaves are falling from the My love, oh yeah, fill me up. You are, you are, love I love to know where you go. Love I've tried to find. Everyone's talking, can I see? You talking whispers, whispering dreams. My love, oh yeah, fill me up. I've tried to 
I'm so in love Yes, I'm 